Well-known man here at Channel 2 is letting others live through a generous donation. And George says the weather that we've been waiting for, it's ahead. This gift of life through a part of himself. It's nice to know that, you know, through his death, he's still helping other people live. Coming up next, I'll introduce you to a man who, through his death, is letting others live. And do you remember the important issue? Mary, no question about it. Over the years, thousands of people have benefited from those who shared their organs upon their death. One person who did that is someone familiar to longtime Channel 2 viewers. You stop the line. I mean, I've got chocolate all over my hand. What am I supposed to do about this? Look at it. It'll sit about five to six people. Chuck, listen to this. <laughs> I think I'm going to be a little late. Jeff Forrest and his familiar feature stories known as The Forest Files were part of Channel 2 newscast in the late 1980s. His message always came through loud and clear. This is the card I bought my wife. I can't show it to you because it's not Valentine's Day yet. And I think I know the one she's going to get me. Honey, I married you because you're charming, good-looking, affectionate, sexy, and smart. He also made it known to his wife and family that if something should ever happen, he wanted to donate his organs. Something did happen to Jeff a little over three years ago. A blood vessel burst near his brainstem, and he died at the age of 34. While his passing was hard on his wife and three little girls, the decision to donate his organs was not. It's such a personal thing. I, uh, for me, it, it almost kind of was fairly easy because I just knew that's something I wanted to do and I knew that's something Jeff wanted to do uh, and I was happy that's not really the word to say but to know that you know he's he's helping other people because that was Jeff like to help everybody that he could in life and it's nice to know that you know through his death he's still helping other people live. Doctors harvested Jeff's kidneys and transplanted one in a 20 year old male the other in a 55 year old female. I have not talked to the recipients um, in person or by phone, we've just mailed a few letters and that pretty much was it. But again, just there from their comments, again, they just couldn't say enough about what a wonderful thing. You know, they have the chance to live longer, obviously, and, and they're very grateful for that. It's very difficult, again, too, because there are no words to express that. People, uh, you, know, you know, you say what you say, but um, it's a feeling you have in your heart. Julie Forrest will share more with her children about Jeff's wishes when they get older. Now she simply wishes more people would educate themselves about the need for organ and tissue donation. It's not just the organs that can be taken and used uh, for the purposes. Uh, it's uh, the tissues, uh, all parts of the body, which uh, uh, the skin, the bones, the, uh, the glands, all the different valves. Um, I, did not really, I did not realize that until I went through the experience I went through. I'm thrilled knowing that Jeff is still alive. That's just, it's a really wonderful I feeling. I think this would be a real good time to end this story. Uh, even though I haven't thought of anything clever for the ending, what's the hurry? Give me a few days, I'll think of something. According to the Wisconsin Donor Network, there are more than 74,000 people currently on the national waiting list for organs and thousands more in need of tissue transplants. Yeah, Jeff was a wonderful personality. Great. He saw the world through a very special set of eyes. Yeah, yeah, very warm man. Thank you very much for that report, Bill. Well, another note about organ donations tonight. A bill is under consideration.